Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Rami. I am a second year medical student, a registered nurse, a wife, and a mom, and all of my content relates to all of that. So if you haven't already, please click that red subscribe button to join the family. I am so, so, so excited for today's video. If you guys haven't already noticed by the title, it's all about how I study in medical school while maintaining a nice life balance where I'm able to spend time with my baby, my husband. I feel like whenever people think of medical students, they all think that we're just studying 24 7 and that is not me unfortunately I'm not a youtuber that films myself studying for 12 hours straight during the day I just can't do that that's not me I spent a lot of weekends not really doing that much studying to be quite honest today I'm gonna to be telling you guys all about how I do that I think as a medical student it's really really important to prevent burnout and that is just a huge thing that's going on today in medical school um, so many students are getting burned out I feel like there's a big like study 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 mentality and if you skip a day of studying you are completely behind which can be true because there's just so much content out there in medical school um, and just so much stuff you have to know for boards there's like this phrase that they said there's like a fire hydrant and you're like drinking out of the fire hydrant as a medical student because all that content is just coming out so quickly you're supposed to be able to digest it all and just know all the information out there it can get very burdensome super quickly and I feel like as a first year medical student I struggled to know what kind of things were out there for me to study. I use a lot of different kinds of platforms that are on there, the third party platforms that have like questions and content and things like that. I made the mistake as a first year medical student of just solely looking at my teacher's PowerPoints and then barely using third party resources because that's just what I did as a nursing student. I literally just studied my teacher's PowerPoints and then did great on my tests. So I used the same mentality, same techniques Four years later when I got into medical school and just strictly looked at my teacher's PowerPoints, studied every single word that was on there, did a lot of rote memorization, didn't really do concept-based learning, which going back I really should have done that. I didn't do so well during my first semester and then during my second semester I started implementing these third-party resources. It was a struggle because I feel like I was always asking people like, hey what are you using to study? What kind of third-party resource are you using to study? Before every block. So it just got to a point where I was like just trying to figure out how to study throughout my entire first year of medical school. By the time second year came around in August, someone suggested to me med school boot camp. I decided to try it out and this was during my cardio block. So cardio is one of the hardest blocks out there. I decided to throw away all my PowerPoint, rote memorization techniques, scrambling around looking for the best third party resource and just trust medical school boot camp and this wasn't sponsored at all. I decided to completely rely on medical school boot camp, fully relying on their content, watching all of their videos, doing all of the questions. I literally got the best grade back that I had in medical school and that's when I was like okay I'm using med school boot camp all the way all throughout medical school. I'm gonna be using this for step like I fully relied on their system because they completely taught me concept-based learning and I was able to just remember those concepts just from watching like a 10-15 minute video. A third-party resource I had used back as a first year medical student was Boards and Beyond and I know that's a big thing that people use nowadays. Boards and Beyond never worked for me. It was just like PowerPoint after PowerPoint after PowerPoint and then just like explanations and a few underlines here and there and that just didn't work for me. Um, and I felt like I was using a lot of rote memorization as well while watching Boards and Beyond. And whenever test time came around, I completely forgot all of the information that was on Boards and Beyond. I just never really got into it. And to be quite honest, Boards and Beyond felt a little like old school almost. It just didn't feel up to date to me. Whereas with boot camp, I was able to immediately remember the content and just remember it conceptually compared to memorizing. I felt like from the very first video I watched, I wasn't memorizing like and it was all physiology because cardio is a lot of physiology and I was just like wow so that's exactly what's happening in the heart huh and just like the way they use it it's so great because they're not using like slide after slide after slide it's one slide per video and you have the person who's doing the lesson right there like you can see their face and you can see them talking to you so it kind of feels more like an interactive discussion compared to just like this is the lecture this is the slide read the slide along and then go to the next slide like 
like I could see who's talking to me and it just felt like very interactive. Oh, I remember Dr. So-and-so giving me this lesson. I remember all about this cardiophysiology content because I remember them talking to me about it kind of thing. Instead of just like the same voice giving me a lecture, um, I don't know. I just felt like immediately from the get-go, I was able to remember that content and then not have to go back to it. Like I don't have to watch these videos two or three times just to get the content down. I watched it once and then I still remembered it. I just felt like the way they taught was just like so modern and up to date. I just felt like I was able to retain the information so well. So that's what got me hooked. I was literally like, wow, like this was my grade. I didn't have to use any of the PowerPoints. Like I literally didn't have to go scrummaging and opening up all these PowerPoints from my professors. I could literally just watch everything all in one place with one slide. Like it was just so amazing. And I just felt like my mind was blown. I finally felt like I was able to be confident and remembering and knowing my medical school material for boards. And I finally felt like I found my resource to be able to do so. So I'm so excited to be doing this collaboration. Thank you, med school bootcamp for collaborating with me I actually reached out to them and in response we're going to be doing a giveaway for a one-year membership to medical school bootcamp so stay tuned to the end to hear how to enter the giveaway so I kind of want to be talking about how exactly I use medical school bootcamp they have every single block on there on their website in just like an easy tabbed format pretty much click one and then you scroll to what you want to learn I kind of just go in order usually they have embryology first kind of the basis of how things are started and then I watch the lectures you can speed any lecture up I usually just do 1.25 unless I really feel like it's gonna be some hard physiology I'll just watch it at one times the speed I pretty much watch the material before I go into lecture like if we're gonna have embryology that lecture in like a super hard PowerPoint format I'll usually watch med school boot camp first and then go to class and see how much information I've retained and usually it's great like I'm able to interact with my professors answer questions and then I go ahead and move on to certain things that are related to the topic like for example we're currently in our reproduction block so I've watched all of embryology so far and now we're kind of talking about histology and anatomy and a few vlogs ago you guys watched me go to the lab um, we looked at the cadavers we looked at like the uteruses and ovaries and the tissues and everything related to that and I went to histology and I went all the way down to the reproduction section and then I just looked at everything related to reproduction um, and just looking at all the histology related to that so amazing and so good I think one of the best things that attracts me to med school boot camp is they just have everything you need to know like no excess random information you don't need to know and they're able to correlate it clinically like usually at the end of each slide they'll be like okay so here's a type of question that is related to this content we just learned for example a 22 year old male walks into the er with this complaint we just learned that in this slide so it really helps you correlate the content clinically um, and I think that's like the best part for me because I feel like other third-party resources do not do that like teach you the content like interactively and then just do like a question or two afterwards so great and then sometimes at the end of like your entire embryology block for example they'll have like embryology questions where they do like two or three questions with you over like a 10 minute span and then like have you pause the video and answer the questions and then they go over it in detail so like i really love it and i just love the concept of it and it's just helped me learn so much and retain it so i feel like whenever i go back to the content for step one this information is going to come back so quickly to me and what's great about med school boot camp is they have thousands of practice questions thousands of quizzes for you to quiz yourself over and what's great is after each um, section for example of each section of embryology is usually like a five to ten question quiz it's like a mini quiz of like mini physiology like highlights um, and then it gives you like such great content of why like each one wasn't the answer um, with like pictures details like I really love how they do that after each section each slide presentation to help you really like take home the high yield content you need to know they also flag each like thing that's like high yield like something that's definitely definitely going to be asked on step one like this is the classic telltale sign of this symptom and then they will flag it high yield and it helps you remember it even more what What's also cool is they use these thousands of questions you can actually have like mock step one board exams that resemble the exact like structure um, of the exam itself so I think that's really cool that you can just like feel confident whenever you go into step one just knowing that you're going to be able to be comfortable and familiar with step one itself just because you had all of this practice with like the exact same structure and at the end of like each question after these sections you can like tag the question if you're like learning it reviewing it or mastered and then it goes into this like deck where you can see like everything you've learned over like all the blocks 
everything you're reviewing and everything you've mastered you can literally go into one of those sections and then just like do a whole high yield review of everything you were learning or just do like everything you mastered for like a quick review i like the anatomy part because you can literally just go into the anatomy section and then just look at what block you're into and instead of having to go back like to our actual cadavers in our lab i can just study all the anatomy i need to know from the anatomy section without having to do all of that so i think that's great and it really helps me remember what i learned and remember what i've seen on the cadavers from anatomy it really helps me take home that anatomy that i need to know for step one and also in our blocks because we still get all these anatomy questions on our blocks as well histology is so good because we have so much histology on our blocks and we're obviously going to be having lots of histology on step one so i just love how there's like a dedicated histology section for everything we need to know under each block it's so cool because you can also like log into your iphone or your android and you can just pull up medical school boot camp wherever you go like i'm literally in the gym like on the stairmaster or on the treadmill like during exam week and just doing questions and if i feel like i really did not get that concept i can always go back and watch that physiology quick video on double speed and just relearn that content really quick so I think that's so cool. It's like an on-the-go function. I've literally put med school boot camp on my dashboard like whenever I'm just driving and then just put in an earphone and just listen to med school boot camp like while I'm driving or if I'm like waiting for my grocery pickup order. Like I've literally brought boot camp everywhere with me and it's so great just to be able to study on the go. Lastly, med school boot camp has 24 hour live TA support. So if you have questions about any type of content, any questions on the exam, you can literally just type in the question online and they will get back to you. I feel like no other third party platforms do this. So it's so cool just to be able to really like know your content. That was just a little bit about how med school boot camp works. I will literally just watch each section. I kind of divide out the sections. I'll just go into my planner and then put in what sections I want to watch. Most of the time, I'll I'll watch it before lectures just um, seeing what kind of content relates with my material but sometimes I'll just go ahead and just go in order and just go ahead of what my professors are doing and just watch the videos all at once even if the content isn't going to be talked about in my class for like another like two or three weeks sometimes I'll just go ahead and just watch all of the videos based on what I wanted to do in my planner it just really helps me get ahead of the material and I feel like for the first time I've been able to feel kind of ahead in a way i feel like i just have all this extra free time which is weird because i just feel so confident in it that i'm just like okay well i have all this extra time just to go hang out with my family now because i finished what i needed to study for the day so usually each section like the embryology section itself was like one and a half hours so i usually will just do like one of those a day and then just do some practice questions just to make sure i've solidified the information and that is how i pretty much study one to two hours a day and then I will supplement the next day with like a histology section or a anatomy section um, all related to my blog. Yeah, that is pretty much how I study and maintain a lifestyle where I'm able to spend time with family because I feel like it is just so important, like I said earlier, just to not be burned out in medical school and to be able to hang out with your friends, hang out with your family um, and not just be 100% dedicated to medical school because the end result is I am going to be a doctor and a less stressed out, burned out doctor. Burnout is so huge in medical school and in the physician workforce, so I just try to mitigate that as much as possible. I hope this video helped you feel a little bit more confident in your studying. And Med School Bootcamp kindly provided me a discount code. So if you want to get Med School Bootcamp, I will put my code right here. It is ROM10. So for the giveaway, I'm going to be making another video regarding the details of the giveaway. And I'm going to be making that video when I hit 10,000 subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Tell your friends, tell your family to subscribe subscribe tell them all to subscribe and we will be doing a one-year membership giveaway from med school boot camp so i'm so excited for that thank you guys so so much for those who have already subscribed to me you guys mean so much and it's crazy that i've gotten this far literally every subscriber means so much i consider myself a very small 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 youtuber so every single subscriber makes me so happy i am so excited to be almost at 10,000, just a couple hundred more I'll be announcing exactly how to enter the giveaway probably in the next video or two whenever I hit 10k. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!